Despite its considerable age, this Kia Magentis is still popular in the Ukrainian secondary market due to its large dimensions and moderate cost, rich equipment and spacious interior. However, Viktor Smirnov believes that not only these qualities ensure the demand for it from our motorists, the Korean is distinguished by good maintainability and reliability. When conquering the Ukrainian market, Korean automakers adhered to the principle of offering the consumer a lot of car for little money. And this principle worked very well. A vivid example of this is Kia Magentis, for which they asked for the same price as a Golf Class model. It was bought both as a family car and as a representative car. Today, unfortunately, Kia models are already outperforming many competitors in terms of cost. Magentis was supplied to us exclusively by the Korean Assembly. It is built on a common platform with the Hyundai Sonata V technically, they are identical, but they differ greatly in appearance. Kia was equipped with 2.0 liters, 136 horsepower, and 2.5 liters V6, 168 horsepower, petrol engines. They were combined with a 5-speed mechanics and a 4-band automatic. The solid sedan is spacious and inside. True, tall drivers may not have enough longitudinal movement of the seat, and its pillow is a bit short. The interior today does not look so modern, and finishing materials are not the most expensive. But the quality of performance raises no objections. On the back sofa, three passengers will be cramped. The pillow is set so low that tall people will sit with their knees high. Magenta's package will not disappoint. The standard includes ABS with brake force distribution along the axles, frontal airbags, power accessories, heated windows and mirrors, radio, fog lights and climate control. Six-cylinder modifications mainly came with a leather interior, four airbags, heated and electric front seats, as well as an electro-hydraulic power steering instead of a conventional power steering. Popular 2-liter engines are demanding on fuel quality, although 92-meter gasoline can also be refueled. There are problems with spark plugs, and oxygen sensors fail after 100,000 km. Timing belt replacement is required every 60,000 km. Otherwise, you will have to repair or change the cylinder head. From low-quality gasoline and a pair of valve, guide sleeve, resinous deposits are formed, due to which the valve wedges. After two or three winters, road chemicals corrode the radiator reservoir. But the sixes have proven themselves from the best side and are considered unpretentious. Officials recommend changing the oil in them every 10,000 km, and the camshaft drive belt every 50,000 km. The balance shaft is driven by a strong chain. The V6 uses platinum electrode spark plugs, although conventional ones are fine. True, to access the candles of the right row of cylinders, you will have to dismantle the intake manifold. The mechanical box is durable. Unless synchronizers can be worn out on the oldest copies. A clutch kit is usually enough for 100,000 km. If the four-band automatic began to switch harder, the clutch pack is likely to fail. In rare cases, an emergency transmission replacement saves. In general, this operation is prescribed for both gearboxes after 90,000 km. Fully independent magenta suspension is quite reliable. Even the stabilizer struts last up to 85,000 km, and the bushings usually last up to 50,000 km. Ball joints rarely withstand more than 100,000 km. The same amount was released to the front wheel bearings. Shock absorbers usually change at the turn of 100,000 to 130,000 km of run. The 2-liter engine is capricious of low-grade fuel, which can jam the valves in the guides. After 3 or 4 Ukrainian winters, the radiator tanks are leaking. Sixes are more reliable, but more demanding on the maintenance schedule and replacing the timing belt. In a manual gearbox, synchronizers are developed over time, triple and first and second gears. In the machine, the clutch package is short-lived. In the front suspension, stabilizer bushings wear out by 50,000 km, but the struts surprisingly withstand up to 80,000 km. Then the ball bearings and hub bearings make themselves felt. The rear suspension wears out closer to 100,000 km when it is necessary to update the silent blocks of the upper arms. Shock absorbers can withstand up to 120,000 km of run. Their service life directly depends on the driving style. The body is not resistant to corrosion. The body metal is relatively thin, so dents often remain even after light contact. The telescopic antenna turns sour after 3 to 5 years of life. Chrome-plated decorative elements quickly fade and peel off. The wiring and connectors for the horn and rear license plate light are corroding. Electrical equipment is not burdened by the complexity of the design, which is why it is relatively reliable. The main problem is in anti-icing reagents, which affect the contacts of the mass wires, connectors in the circuit of wires and sensors. 